In this video, we ask our Barista friend Vojta Ružička to take us through the coffee menu at his coffee shop. With all the fancy coffee drink names out there, we want to create a simple step-by-step -step guide to ordering coffee that you really want to drink without feeling awkward. This video is sponsored by Pack Press. Okay, Vojta, so when people come to your coffee shop, what are the key questions that you ask them that helps them to pick the right coffee to drink? Okay, when people have any doubts about what coffee they want to order or what coffee they want to drink, the key question is whether they want to drink coffee with milk or without. Around 60% of our customers choose the milk option where we have five different coffee kinds. The first one is espresso macchiato, cortado, cappuccino, flat white and cafe latte. The main difference is the coffee to milk ratio, when the espresso macchiato is the smallest one and cafe latte is the biggest. Espresso macchiato is served in an espresso, espresso cup when there is a one single shot of espresso and around 60 milliliters of steamed milk. Then the next size is Cortado, which is around 110 milliliters of total cup size. So one single shot of espresso and up to 110 milliliters of steamed milk. And then is the flat white, which is a double shot of espresso and around 180 milliliters of the total cup size. Then there is a cappuccino, which is the favorite in our cafe, favorite milk drink, which is around 150 milliliters, single shot of espresso as well, and around 130 milliliters of steamed milk. Then the biggest is cafe latte, which is around 300 milliliters, Single shot of espresso again, and then around 270 milliliters of steamed milk. So espresso macchiato is for the people who like only a little bit of milk. So the coffee flavor is the most intense out of these five different beverages. So it's maybe for some occasional coffee with milk drinkers. And a cafe latte, which is the biggest option of coffee with milk in our coffee shop, is for the people that don't like the coffee flavor that much. So the milky flavors in cafe latte is the most intense. And what about people who want to drink coffee black? What are their options? For people who want to drink their coffee without milk, there are two main different options. is espresso and filter coffee. Where the espresso is for the people, they want to have the coffee quickly and it's a shorter amount of coffee and it's more intense in flavor. Whether the filter coffee is rather milder in flavor, it's bigger in volume, uh, but also in filter coffee, the, some of the coffee flavors can be more pronounced than, than in the espresso. So in terms of espresso, the basic drink a single shot of espresso, which is actually the base for all of our milk beverages. Uh, it's around 10 grams of ground coffee and 20 to 25 milliliter of the total volume. Then we can have a double espresso, which is two single shots of espresso in one cup. The total volume is around 40 to 45 milliliters if 20 grams of ground coffee is used. But if the people want to have a larger coffee, they can still have a coffee from the machine, which will be Americano, which is actually a single shot of espresso, but diluted with hot water into around 150 milliliters of total volume. But they can have a filter coffee, which is actually a completely different type of preparation. The main difference between espresso and filter coffee is coffee to water ratio, where the espresso is around 1 to 2 or 2.5 coffee to water, but in filter coffee it's around 1 to 15, 1 to 16. So this makes the flavor uh, milder in terms of filter coffee and the espresso is more intense. Filter coffee will also be cleaner in taste because it's, it comes through the paper filter. In filter coffee there are two main options, it's batch brew and hand brew, where the batch brew is prepared in advance and stored in thermosis, so you can have a cup of your filter coffee in seconds. seconds. 
but hand brew is prepared on your order, so you need to wait around four to five minutes to get the cup of your coffee. The main advantages of hand brew is that you're getting your cup of coffee freshly prepared and you have also more time to talk with barista. Uh, you can choose from wider range of coffees and you can also choose the method the coffee will be prepared, for example, V60, Aeropress, Chemex. On the other hand, the advantages of batch brew is the time of preparation because it's pre-prepared, you get your coffee real fast. It's more uniform because it's done in a bigger volume and also it's a little bit cheaper. Before we move to another segment on the coffee menu, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Pack Press. It's the world's first automatic coffee temper that helps baristas to handle the pressure behind the bar. You've seen Vojta using it a lot in this video, so we ask him why. What I like about Pack Press is uh, the consistency. It's also very easily adjustable. You can easily adjust from 10 kilos to 20 kilos and anything in between, so you can extract coffee in the right pressure of the temping, which is um, harder to maintain when you're temping by your hand. And also when you, for example, in our cafe, when you have more baristas behind the bar, you are sure that everybody is temping the same, so the espresso will taste the same. Okay, now that we know how Vojta and his team pull a tasty espresso every time, let's talk about the cold coffee options on the menu. In warm days like that, not everybody likes to drink warm coffee, are there any ice or cold options on the coffee menu? Actually, you can order all of the coffees we've mentioned so far uh, in a cold version. The preparation can be a little bit different. For example, in our cafe, we do the iced cappuccino the opposite way, that we put a little bit of ice into the glass, uh, pour over the steamed milk that is not steamed to the exact temperature as in a hot version, and then the espresso comes as the last one. And then there are the other options of cold coffee, which can be cold brew or chilled brew. Cold brew is prepared that you macerate the coffee grounds in cold water for a long period of time, usually around 12 to 24 hours. And then it's filtered and bottled or it can be served in a glass. And the chilled brew is actually a chilled filter coffee that I personally like more because it still keeps the flavor aspects of the classic filter coffee. So the acidity is more clean and structured than in a cold brew. Okay, besides black coffee and coffee with milk, what are some other options as coffee cocktail that people can order? There are two main categories. It's coffee drinks or coffee cocktails without alcohol and coffee cocktails with alcohol. The most popular coffee cocktail without alcohol is uh, espresso tonic. You put a little bit of ice into the glass, pour over the cold tonic water and the hot espresso comes to the top. And flavor, it's very interesting because you're combining bittersweet uh, tonic water and very intensive coffee flavor from espresso. So together it's very interesting and the most popular a coffee drink with alcohol can be, for example, espresso martini. There are three main ingredients uh, to espresso martini. It's espresso, vodka and coffee liquor. And the preparation is that you put these three ingredients to a shaker, shake it with ice and serve it in a martini glass. In the flavor, the espresso martini is a nice combination of a coffee liquor and espresso, where the coffee liquor is, is sweet and the vodka gives it a nice kick. Whether you prefer coffee black or with milk, iced coffee or coffee cocktails, we encourage you to explore and perhaps try something new in your favorite coffee shop. For that, there is one piece of advice Vojta can give you. Don't hesitate to ask your barista, he will be really happy to recommend to you the best choice of coffee for you. Okay, so we hope that this video helps you to understand all the options that you can find on the coffee menu and perhaps even inspire you to try something new, something that you haven't tried before. So thank you, Vojta, for showing us and I hope to see you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.